Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to make an evil queen dress for Myra Shards, or for any other doll he wants to have an evil touch. I'm going to start by taking my fabric and see how it stretch. I want mine to stretch out to the side. Now I'm going to lay it good side to good side. I'm going to place my doll on the fabric and I'm going to put it right here at underneath her armpits. Now the length of the dress I want it to be, you know, right to go over her feet so I'm going to cut there. Okay, now I'm going to take it from the bottom, then cut up to the doll underneath her armpits. Okay, now that we have our pattern. Okay, let me just get that out of the way. I'm going to stitch down this side and this side, the left and the right. And when sewing, be sure to knot the end of the thread. Now this is a simple dress pattern. It can be sewn by hand like I'm doing, or you can use a sewing machine. And be sure to lock your stitch, meaning to go between the two threads right before the knot, then pulling it. And I'm just going to use an in and over stitch. Really wish I had a sewing machine. But hey, practice makes perfect. Now I'm going to place it on the doll. And if it is too big, like mine is, I place it onto the doll, then stitch down her back. Now that I stitched down her back, then I just flat to the line, then I'm just going to cut off any excess fabric. And I'm going to use an in and over stitch for this one to secure my last stitch. And I'm using a non-fraying fabric like Pinay, so I won't have to do excess sewing. Alright, now that our dress is on the doll, contouring, and be sure it's inside out, I'm going to add a little bit more detail and add a sweetheart top to it. Just going through the over the bust, then knotting again, then stitch one more time. And cut off any excess string. And there it is. Now when I'm done sewing, I like to put on a little bit of fabric glue to help prevent it from unraveling later. Once the glue is dry, I'm going to flip the dress inside out. Now for her sleeves, I'm going to take the same type of fabric, make a smaller version of the dress pattern, and go a little bit over her hand. Then I'm just going to fold it over her arm, and just stitch down the edge. And turn it inside out, and I'm going to use the end of a paintbrush to help me with that. Next, I'm going to place it onto the doll's arm. And right now, here's our full and completed dress. And to keep the sleeves attached to the dress, I'm going to take it and sew them together by getting the top of the sleeve, making sure to lock my stitch, and to just sew them together. And now I'm just going to take a little piece of chain I got from a broken necklace, then just tie it around her waist, and that gives it a little bit more evil touch. And for Myra, I place back on her crown and all her accessories, her earrings, her chest piece, but her shoes need a little bit more detail. So I'm going to dry brush over the front with a metallic silver, and the bottom of them too. Next, for these little three archways on the side, I'm going to paint them silver to give it a little bit, you know, a little pop a little bit more. Then I'm going to paint these spikes that's going up the back of her heel. There we go. And I'm going to paint the bottom of the sole to give it a little bit of that Louis Vuitton feel. And here it is. I painted the spiral that's going up her leg and the spiral that's going down the heel. And here is our evil queen. Well, if you guys like this video, be sure to like, thumbs up the video, and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you guys for watching.